What's up guys, Tom Nick here. Welcome back to our episode of Mario Kart Monday. Today we're going to be continuing our let's play of the Mario Kart Wii Hack Pack. And in the last episode we did a 3D P-Wing Cup with Iggy Koopa. And now we're going to be heading over to the 16-bit um, P-Wing Cup with Classic Wario in the Wario bike as suggested to me by one of my viewers. And this is actually the final episode, so, yeah, uh, you actually guys suggested me some, uh, a different mod pack, I forget what it was called, but one of you guys in the last episode commented to me another mod pack, and I might check it out, uh, maybe I'll do it for the next Mario Kart Monday, but, um, I didn't have enough time to check it out, cause today, um, I come back from my vacation, actually, so, uh, yeah, I really didn't have, uh, I wasn't able to really do anything, that's why everything was pre-recorded last week, so I wasn't able to do the Splatoon 2 stuff, um, and some of you guys, there's, uh, suggestions and stuff to do, like, viewer's choice and stuff like that. Um, anyway though, in the 16-bit P-Wing Cup, we have Yoshi Jungle, Yoshi Mountain, Yoshi's Magic Yarn Basket, and Yoshi's Pyramid. So, uh, we probably should've went with the Yoshi character instead seeing that all these tracks are Yoshi based but um you know I guess I'll do what you guys want even though all four tracks are Yoshi alright so we got Yoshi jungle here looks pretty cool and uh, yeah here we are with classic Wario it's not really anything like major or anything like that like it's not anything that's really different it's just Wario from N64 games. That's pretty much it. There's nothing really special about it. You know. Uh, someone else actually suggested to me to play with, uh, maybe Wario. But, um, yeah, that one was a little bit, like, confusing. Also, the person that suggested to me to play as classic Wario told me not to play with, uh, baby, uh, Wario, so, uh, yeah, but I was actually surprised that that's actually a custom mod or whatever, or a custom character, um, uh, this ending right here kind of reminds me of, uh, Dino Dino Jungle, how you kind of are going down a stack of stairs, basically, uh, but this is pretty cool, I like how, uh, you have Yoshi in the background, on uh, top of, or Baby Mario on top of him. Got Yoshi ice skating right there. There's even wild Yoshis out there trying to attack you. Okay, never mind, they're Swaggies. Or sw I don't know what those guys are called. I remember they're from, uh, what's that game called? Uh, Pokemon Black and White. Fifth generation Pokemon. I forget, it's something, it's something Swaggy, I think. Like Swagster or something like that? I have no idea. All I remember is just it. It was something similar to Swag. That's all I remember. That he knows the move Swagger. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's all I know about him. Cause I never like had him as a Pokemon. Actually, I think I did. But then again, Pokemon Black and White came out what three years ago already? No, not three years ago. What am I saying? More like seven years ago, actually. Which is crazy, seven years ago. Pokemon Black and Wow. Pokemon Black and White came out seven years ago. That's crazy. Um anyway though, now that I'm uh back home from vacation, hopefully I'm able to do like Splatoon 2 updates. And uh we actually have a Splatfest coming up soon. I think it's Saturday if I'm correct. Friday, one of those two, and it's, um, Team Ockling versus Team Inkling, and, um, I kind of compared it to Team Squidward versus Team, um, Octodad, and to be honest, I like Squidward more than Octodad, I guess, so I can't really think of, like, any famous octopuses or squids other than, um, Squidward and Octodad, I guess. I mean, other than, of course, the 
Squid Sisters and the Off the Hook Sisters, and then Captain Cuttlefish, of course. But other than that, you know, it's just I bet you this is actually this might be one of their Nintendo's tests. Now that I think about it, because I saw a video recently. It's like who's Agent Seven? Because we know Agent One is Callie. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Agent One's Callie. Agent Two's Marie. Agent 3 is you in Splatoon 1. Agent 4 is you in Splatoon 2. Then Agent 5 is Pearl, I think. And then Marina is uh, Agent 6. And you don't know who Agent 7 is, but Agent 7, Agent 8 is your Octling in the Octo Expansion. So I bet you they don't even know who Agent 7 is and that there might be still, or for the third game maybe, uh, there might be Agent 7 that we don't know about and this might be a test of whether it'll be an Inkling or an Octling. You know, kind of similar to how the uh, Splatfest was in, the final Splatfest was in uh, Splatoon 1 where it was Callie versus Marie, and since Marie won, Callie uh, left the Squid Sisters and um, turned evil, basically, and was the, uh, well, sort of the final boss, while uh, Marie was helping Agent 4. So it would have been the other way around if Callie won the Splatfest, which I feel like is really cool that they did that, um, but this might be another test, like I said. I mean, I don't think it's going to be the last Splatfest, but it might be one of, uh, Nintendo's little tests to see, uh, what they're going to do for the third game, maybe. I mean, that's just a thought that I have, but it's not certain. So I feel like the, only, the reason that they did that was because, you know, they gave you a little bit of time to uh, play as the Ockling, or to finish the Octo expansion and play as the Ockling a little bit, and to get used to, like, their, I guess, voice and their little icons and all that stuff. And, you know, it's like, do you like that better, or do you like the, uh, the Inklings better? You know, it could just be something similar as that, and it's not actually... A, test to see who uh, Agent 7 is going to be. So, yeah. Um, anyway, though, actually, I played a couple, uh, on vacation, I played a couple levels of Octo Expansion. Played a little bit of Golf Story. Played a little bit of, uh, Wizard of Legends. Played a little bit of, um, Fortnite. Played a little bit of Quiplash with my family and stuff. Played a little bit of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And, uh... What else? Played a little bit of ARMS because of a party crash. It was, uh, what's it called? Min Min, or, yeah, Min Min versus Kid Cobra. Because the uh, topic was serpents. But um, I also played a little bit of Splatoon 2. I did get to play the update and play with the um, ballpoint splatling and also the exploser, whatever it's called, uh, the new slosher. Um, also the bamboozer MK2 and I forget what else came out, but another weapon. And then of course the new stage, which is the hotel stage, which is pretty cool. Alright, anyway, we're in uh, Yoshi's Yarn Basket here, which is based off of Kirby's Epic Yarn. No, Yoshi, Yoshi's Woolly World, I mean. My bad. Uh, but yeah, this one actually was really cool. I remember this one in uh, CTGR. The custom tracks and that. And, uh, yeah, it's really well done. Like, seriously, everything was made out of yarn. Even the Thwomps here are made out of yarn. 
You know, you see the little yarn uh, bundles in the background. Even like the arrows are made out of yarn. Really cool, really well done. I really love this uh, level. Kind of reminds me of uh, Ribbon Road a little bit. Just because of like the art style and stuff. And now Ribbon Road's kind of like arts and crafts, just like how this is. And talking about uh, Yoshi's Bully World, um, hopefully we get uh, news about that new Yoshi game still that we don't know even the title of. Um, cause I remember Yoshi's Bully World, actually that took a while to actually get made, if I remember correctly. Like, they announced that once the Wii U, like, came out, and then it came out, like, two or three years later. So it took three years, basically, to make Yoshi's Woolly World, I think, if I remember correctly, but I'm not exactly sure. So I remember them showing, like, screenshots of it, and I remember those screenshots and, like, stuff like that. Kind of like the beta, I guess, like, beta 64, um, if you guys watch that channel. Um, and showed, like, giant Yoshi attacking stuff. It showed, um, what else did it show? I think it showed, like, uh, Yoshi, like, unraveling a shy guy or something like that. Which, um, wasn't the final art style, that's for sure. But, um, yeah, I remember that being, like, in the very early days of the Wii U. I remember seeing it, like, on Nintendo News on Ninbuzz. Which rest in peace, by the way. <laughs> Cause I really, I really wonder what they're doing with that channel. Cause it's been dead for six months, I think. Actually, longer, I think, maybe a year. Cause the last thing they have on that is community choice, like favorite um, Xenoblade Chronicles X character. So yeah, it's been a really long time. I mean, I'm guessing that their channel's dead, but like, it's just, it's such a weird note to go off of. It's just like, yeah, here's the results of, uh, I don't even know, did they, I don't even know if they said a question in that, now that I think about it. Maybe they did say goodbye. I'm not sure. I don't really remember the end of the episode, but they were like, alright, here's the results of the best uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X character in 5th place is, I don't know, Lau with 4% of the votes or something like that, and now that I think about it, I don't even know if they asked a question, so maybe they just took a bind that. I, I really liked that channel to be honest, I really did, it was a great channel, like it had uh, Nintendo News on it, it had um, community choice, which I'm basing viewer's choice off of. It had, like, some good, like, Smash Bros. tutorial videos. Like, discussed, like, the tier list of Smash Bros. It was really well done. I really have to say, it was a really good channel. And it's really sad that it's just gone. You know? Alright, Rosalina got eight minutes, while everyone else got four. Good job, Rosalina. Alright, well I got back in first place there at least. Um, but yeah, I also got Rumbo for the Switch. Don't buy it. <laughs> really, don't. If you have the Wii U version or the, uh, or any other version, really don't buy it. Cause, what I thought, I thought that the, that Rumbo was gonna have, uh, like all the DLC included and stuff like that from the Wii U. But, Guess what? It doesn't. Which makes no sense at all. You know, like, you have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It is a definitive version. It, um, is, a re like, the remake or the reamped uh, Mario Kart 8 on the, on the uh, Wii U. And it includes all the DLC. It includes even more stuff. New battle modes, new maps new uh, characters, new carts too. And then you have Rumbo. 
where literally nothing has changed. You can buy Rumbo on the Wii U, and it's literally the same exact thing on the Switch. And it's stupid. You have to buy the DLC again. You have to, um, you have to, like, get every character again. Like, nothing's unlocked for you. It's stupid. Oh, come on, really? Um, but yeah, it's it just, it's really stupid. Like, well, I kind of got, uh, Rumbo for free, because I just downloaded it illegally, but it's ridiculous that I am paying the full price and yet I'm not getting everything out of it. Like DLC is supposed to be stuff that the developers put in after the game's done and yet you have to buy it again. Like I don't think any other like remake or port to the Switch has you buying the DLC again. That is actually stupid. It really is. And it's like $15 with the DLC too. It's stupid. <laughs> anyway, I think the game crashed. So, um, yeah, that is the Mario Kart Wii Hack Pack. Crash it. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, that is the end of that. So, um, thank you guys all for watching. It's been a long, uh, let's play of the Mario Kart Wii Hack Pack, but we're finally done. And, uh, yeah, I'll probably do, I think one of you guys suggested to me, like, the Mario Kart Wii Fun Pack or something like that. I'll check it out. Um, I'll probably play it the next episode. But, yeah, uh, let me know if you guys have any custom characters to do or any other suggestions for Mario Kart Mondays. Let me know in the comments below. But until then, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Mario Kart Mondays right here on Tonic. Bye.